It's February 3rd and uh, we're taking a quick tour of a 2001 American Tug LaBelle and this is uh, inventory and condition of the vessel as it's being transferred to the new owners. So uh, we've got a nice little filtration system, uh, very simple and I would always advise to hook that up um, when you're at a neighboring dock uh, and that will convey and then of course she's all tied up nice and tidy so uh, no issues there three fenders on each side and there was a little standing water in the tender and so she has been tied up a little proud uh, with the bow up and so she's not retaining any water at this point Got a nice uh, stainless steel magma grill. And in the propane locker, we have the magma grill propane fitting. Now this is an outboard uh, motor cover, an emergency throw device, some boat wash, uh, a couple of uh, propane, uh, portable propane cylinders, I think. Now I think that one might be spent. But this is the propane um, fitting for the magma grill. And this one has not been spent. So I'm not sure about this one. Okay, and the fitting is right here for the magma grill, emergency throw device and boat wash. There's a spare propane tank and one that currently services the stove. And since that's the only thing that runs off of propane, uh, there's a significant number of days of propane uh, for your stove. Okay. In the lazarette, um, there's going to be some spare parts. Uh, there's also going to be in the lazarette. Let me go ahead and close the door so that we can access that. And I said spare parts, I didn't mean spare parts. Okay, all right. So in the lazarette, uh, we've got a uh, pigtail there, a uh, couple little cleaning uh, cleaning supplies. It does look like there's a, um, some outboard motor oil, uh, but there is a 30 amp shore power extension um, and then as well your fresh water hose um, and that is fresh water potable hose so that's uh, super important to have uh, and i believe it's 50 feet in length and then some uh, emergency chain and road okay now let's go to the inside And as we enter into the uh, salon, we've got a nicely equipped salon, uh, and that is going to have uh, ice trays, soap for cleaning hands and dishes, paper towel holder in the back there. Uh, it also conveys with a nice little teapot. Uh, prior to boarding, uh, let's see here, this is nine volts. So make sure you bring a uh, nine volt uh, so that uh, you have carbon monoxide detection. And it also has some basic cleaning supplies. Uh, you'll have some uh, just generic Trader Joe's cleaner, some glass cleaner, some Lysol, a couple of garbage bags, a sponge, some extra paper towels. Uh, these are the anodes, the aluminum anodes that were switched out to uh, zinc. Uh, those will uh, stay with the boat. Over here, um, we have um, a, I think this, I don't know what kind of metal this is. This could be aluminum, but um, it was actually just hung up using a couple of 
Velcro tabs against this wall. And some people prefer um, to hang artwork. Um, so I am including the Velcro tabs uh, so that you can rehang that or you can choose to uh, hang your own artwork or whatnot against the wall. Uh, the boat is also going to convey with a historical American tug, American made baseball caps. Uh, and there is actually two. Okay. There we go. Um, and then let's um, show in the salon, uh, just to the uh, left of the salon table, um, there is a couple of drawers here. And what's most important is the left drawer. This is where all your uh, tender, uh, your tender inflate, inflator, foot inflator, foot pump. Uh, you also have your uh, crane cable and then your uh, harness to hook up to the crane, okay, or David. Um, you also have some home filter, uh, some filtration um, for the boat, uh, and that's going to be found in the engine room. Those are spare filters. And I think this is uh, next drawer over is uh, empty as well as the next one. So, and that's again left side of the salon. Okay, so let's uh, venture from here. Oh, some, um, all the remotes are to the left of um, the radio station, entertainment radio. And that's going to be your TV and your radio remote. So this is your television. That's your Apple, um, your Apple Play. And then uh, as well, your Furion, which is right here. Fusion, excuse me, Furion. Fusion stereo. Now the Fusion stereo is Bluetooth enabled. Uh, you do need to turn it on uh, using that toggle. Uh, currently right now, the water maker is in um, auto store mode. Fluffy pillows included. <laughs> uh, okay, so we have a macerator key here. Um, and this is going to be a spare door key. Um, Macerator is currently in a locked position. Um, and there is a key in the ignition right now. And you have uh, owner's manuals uh, throughout the boat. The owner, owner manuals for various systems, outboard motor, etc. over here. Your American flying flag. Uh, for the stern of the vessel. Some fire extinguishers. Dehumidifier on the floor is plugged in and operational. And let's go downstairs here really quickly. Not much to show there, but I'm going to go downstairs anyways into the stateroom. So here's the additional owner's manuals, documentations, uh, logs that convey with the vessel. And that's on the port side of the stateroom. And then we have another uh, series of remotes over there. Those remotes uh, power the television and the Bose sound bar. Uh, we have a second carbon monoxide detector. It does need a 9 volt. So we have two 9 volt batteries that you need to bring for carbon monoxide detection. Uh, and then um, as well... We're going to uh, have a dehumidifier running in the um, in the head, and that dehumidifier has been emptied and is currently running. And that, I believe, concludes the tour here of the 2001 American Tug LaBelle.